and this is my new album, Tumblebee, and it comes with a DIY mobile, which I will show you how to make while we listen to the record. So here it is. You just, um, by the way, here's a finished version, so this is where you're headed. Um, very sweet artwork by Carson Ellis, a good friend of mine. So first you cut out the circles, and I just go like this. Uh, I kind of cut around one of the top of one and then go down the bottom of the other. We're listening to a song called Little Lap Dog Lullaby, which we arranged but we learned on this album called Animal Folk Songs for Children by Ruth Crawford Seeger, who is a really cool woman, and her daughter Peggy Seeger performed the album. And we hadn't heard that album before we made the record. It was a really cool discovery from Colin and Carson, the friends of ours. Who Carson did the art and Colin sang on the record. But it was their son Hank's favorite record for a long time. Anyway, she, their version is a lot simpler than this version. But here's one of them. And I'll cut out this one. So Laura, I see that one there on the table is signed, that CD? Yeah. What's going on there? Oh, we just, Chad, Chad is the one we hear filming. He is the label manager, so we run our own labels called Raven Marching Band Records, and people who pre-ordered the CD can get a signed copy, and so we did the signing of that today in my fox hat. It's kind of cold back here. We're in my backyard studio called The Barn. This next song, the second song, is beautiful. It's called Prairie Lullaby. It was uh, sent to us by Jim James, who's singer of My Morning Jacket. And um, we hadn't heard this one before either. It's beautiful. And Jimmy Rogers did it. Billy, This man, Billy Hill, wrote it. Um, Jim sings on this one too. Some howling, his classic howling happens in the middle of the song. So now I'm cutting out these two top um, braces. This is a good project to do in the winter time when you need some crafty thing to do inside. Luckily, we live in Portland, luckily it's sunny today, but it's sort of rare this time of year. Okay, now I've got my top piece. You can see that this, anywhere you see a dot is where you're going to be using your hole punch to make a hole. There's also a dotted line here. So I'm going to cut along that, and that, that will secure the... Uh, the other piece in a minute. So we've got the top brace. Now I've almost got the bottom brace, just need to cut along the dotted line here. And this one has holes too where you can see where you punch and then also dotted line here to cut. So you can see how these two will fit together. Like that. So that's the those are the braces. I'm going to recycle this. And then I'm going to use my hole punch to be sure to um, not get too close to the edge so there's room to tie something on. So I'm going to go right here. That was a little, a little bit ragged, but it's okay. We're not being perfectionists here. Um, there's another one. We didn't have a hole punch at uh, our house, so I used a three hole puncher. Oh good, you just figured out a way to get it in there? Yeah. Yeah, we didn't have one, I just went and got one. Fred Meyer. 
Okay, now the floss. You should be flossing your teeth and brushing every night. So you should have some floss around the house. Um, so we'll just take, I used pretty short pieces here, but you want to leave a little bit of room for slack for tying it on. So I'm going to do a piece about this long. It doesn't really matter, but shorter I think probably is better. We did one with longer pieces earlier and it was a little wobbly. Okay, I've got my floss. Oh, and I need one more piece for the top. I'm going to actually cut the, do the hole punch here on the top piece also. Okay, so here we go. I'll take my extra piece of string, tie it onto the top. Top piece tied on, and I'm going to start tying on to one end here. So you don't even need to do a double knot because you're not really, you know, you're not going to pull very hard on this. It's just a small piece. I think probably having it down at the bottom is good, like that, instead of the side, so that they're all a little e more evenly weighted. And then you tie on one of these guys. Same way. And don't worry if the thing isn't totally perfectly balanced. We, um, you can fuss with it a little bit by cutting off edges or um, or adjusting like with tape. For example, we found that it was a little bit wobbly. So we added tape. It's scotch tape. We actually added, you just take a piece of tape and we added three pieces on each side, a small piece like this and just tape it right across the middle there. And it just reinforces it. Put another piece here and do that as many times as you need to to make that center brace a little bit stronger. And see ours is still a little slightly wobbly but when you fuss with it you can kind of get it to go more the direction you want. And it's more charming that way. Yeah, and you can hang this, if you have a small person in your life, you can hang it above a crib or diaper changing table, or if you don't have a small person in your life, maybe next to your bedside lamp. <laughs> I don't really know where you want to hang it, but it's a fun extra thing that comes with the CD. And if you make one and take a picture of yourself with it, just email that picture to Chad, who's behind you. His email is chad at ravenmarchingband.com, and he will post it on the website. So we hope you enjoy this record tumblebee, and also this mobile, and maybe we'll see you at a show sometime. Go jump down, spin around, spin around, wanna go jump down.